Welcome to Engineering Funda family. This video is a part of Network Theory lecture series and in this video, I will be discussing essential key points for series and parallel RLC circuits and in this video, I will be explaining you how we can solve questions based on series and parallel RLC circuits with respect to resonant frequency, with respect to quality factor, with respect to bandwidth as well as there may be some other question in which you may need to understand what is the meaning of inductive and capacitive network. So all those aspects that I am going to cover in this video. So first topic that will be resonant frequency of series and parallel connection. So my dear students you must know resonant frequency is same for series and parallel RLC circuit that is 1 by square root of LC but it is very essential that you should know how to calculate it with respect to series connection and how to calculate it with respect to parallel connection. When you have random circuit at that time you will have to see how circuit is there in terms of connection. If circuit is there in terms of connection with respect to series then find impedance of that circuit and then apply imaginary component is equals to 0 and you will be getting resonant frequency. But whenever you have circuit in terms of parallel connection at that time my dear students you will have to find admittance of the circuit and in admittance you should keep imaginary component equals to 0 and then identify resonant frequency. So it is not only about formula my dear students it is not only the case of formulas for series RLC parallel RLC directly you can write omega is equals to 1 by square root of LC but when it is a case of random circuit at that time you should see that connection pattern. So I will solve some examples definitely you will get an idea about how we can exactly solve this type of questions. So let me write this first point which is that regarding resonant frequency for series and parallel. So this formula that is same for series and parallel but for random connection I have already told you what you need to follow right. We will solve some examples even. Now let us discuss what will happen with bandwidth. So my dear students when we talk about bandwidth calculation at that time it is simply R by L for series RLC connection and it will be 1 by RC for parallel RLC connection and these are the formulas that you will have to remember but here there are few essential key things that I will be going to discuss after writing this formula. Again you see for series it will be R by L for parallel it will be 1 by RC in terms of formulas. But there are some other meanings which is there with frequencies that you must understand that I will explain you step by step. So delta omega that is R by L for series RLC and delta omega that is 1 by RC that is there for parallel RLC connection. Now my dear students whenever we talk about bandwidth there are very essential things that we must understand. What is bandwidth? It is a range of frequency. So we will be having frequencies like this. This is lower cutoff frequency. Then we will be having resonant frequency and then we will be having upper cutoff frequency. That is how we will be having frequencies. Right. Now my dear students you should understand center will be the reference. So at reference means at resonance will be having only real component. Real component means will be having only resistance. So at resonance will be having only resistance. And when you talk about series and when you talk about parallel at that time cases are different. So let me make copy of this again so that I don't need to write that again. So let us say here I am talking about series RLC. So for series RLC my dear students when you have range from omega 0 to omega 2 in that case you will be having inductive circuit over here. So 
if frequency is greater than omega 0 for series RLC, you will be having inductive network and when frequencies are lower than omega 0 to omega 1, you will be having capacitive network. So, sometimes in competitive examination, this type of questions are coming. So, for that also you should be ready. If frequency is greater than omega 0 for series RLC, you will be having inductive network, you should understand that. And as if you talk about parallel RLC connection, so for parallel RLC connection, when you go for greater frequency than omega naught, in that case you will be having capacitive circuit. And when you go for lower than this omega naught frequency, at that time you will be having inductive network. And if you see my previous videos in which I have already explained how power factor is there. So, power factor that will be leading power factor for capacitive network and power factor that will be lagging power factor for inductive network. So, my dear students, I have seen many of the times this type of questions are coming in EAC as well as UPSC examination, right. So, at that time, if you have this understanding, you can directly solve those MCQs immediately. Now, my dear students, I will be going to discuss quality factor of series as well as parallel RLC connection. So, my dear students, quality factor basic formula that will remain same that is resonant frequency divided by bandwidth of the circuit, right? It will not change. But whenever you want to calculate quality factor for series and parallel, at the time its resultant formulas are getting changed. Like you see, as if I talk about series connection, then for series connection, quality factor is 1 by R square root of L by C and when we talk about parallel connection, then quality factor that is reciprocal of this. So, reciprocal of this means what? This R will be in numerator and you see in square root C by L that is how formula will be there. So, directly you can remember parallel connections uh, quality factor based on series connections quality factor, right? And there are few more key points that you must understand. My dear students, for series connection, quality factor can be also calculated as per magnitude of voltage across L divided by total voltage as well as magnitude of voltage across C divided by total voltage. And that is what we can identify as per resonance, right, where you will be having magnitude of amplification factor with respect to voltage. But when it comes to parallel connection, we can have that based on current. So, for parallel connection, current is getting divided. That is why capacitor current divided by total current and inductive current divided by total current. So, here you will be having gain in terms of current. As if you calculate that in terms of current, then only it will be like this. And here, it is not like gain means it will be always greater than 1. It means that here we are calculating that in terms of ratio of current. I do not mean to say like gain means it will be amplification always. What I want to say is, here whatever ratio that is happening, the reason is quality factor is not having any unit. You see radian per second divided by radian per second means it is unitless quantity. So, voltage gain or current gain that does not have any unit. But when you talk about parallel connection, current is getting divided and as current is getting divided, all we do is we identify that ratio with respect to current in parallel for this quality factor calculation and for series, it will be there in terms of voltage ratio. But I have not shown you that in theory portion, that is why I thought I should tell you this. Sometimes you may have one marks MCQ question so that you can easily reply to that based on question. So, my dear students, these are the key essential points that you will have to remember for a solution of AC analysis of RLC circuit. And there are few problems that you should practice. Once you practice few questions along with engineering funda, definitely I can guarantee you, you can be able to solve any question based on AC analysis. So, few formulas that you will have to remember and you should do some practice, definitely I will make sure 
all the categories of questions will be available in front of you thank you so much for watching this video